Chancellor, principal, members of the university, fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen, what a mistake you've made. <laughs> I certainly won't try to convince you. I don't deserve it. Actors will take what they can get wherever possible. Thank you for lunch today, Chancellor. I hope I don't have to pay. <clears throat> I would, however, like to thank the university for bestowing on me this wonderful, wonderful honor. A doctor. I've played a few characters, but never a doctor. Or have I? My agent's here. I'll have to ask her later. This is a first. I was never academic enough to do what all of you have wonderfully achieved. So when I studied, I decided to pretend to do absolutely anything. So much easier. But I'm not pretending today. Alongside my fellow graduates, I'm so proud to be part of your special day and in such a wonderful location. Sterling, for me, has always been unique and close to my heart. It's unique location right in the heart of Scotland. This glorious campus, the extensive library, sports facilities, or will be after you've left, a uh, considerable art collection, a stunning castle. And I'm sure as you graduate today, you can't help but reflect on how fortunate you must feel having attended this establishment. Like me, me you've experienced many firsts here, I'm sure. Do you remember the first day you arrived on campus, or Freshers' Week? I'm sure some of you don't. Your first summer in Scotland. It looks like it's just arrived. Although today may be your first, your first exams, making new friends, learning new skills, or finding the first pub open on a Sunday, sleeping on a Monday, and cramming for class on a Friday. All these experiences have brought you to today. And I know you'll look back on this time with great fondness. For me, Sterling has been a place of many firsts too. Knives and Hens is one of the first plays I performed in my professional career, and I don't think I messed up. We actually toured to the McRobert Theatre, or Roman Robert Theatre. It's a dark, strange, and unsettling. Not the theatre of the piece. It's the first time I've ever been crushed to death by a monolith, night after night. More recently, the surrounding area has become the setting for a TV show called Outlander. My first lead role in an international TV show. And one of the first episodes, as mentioned before, was shot uh, in season one, was on this campus. And I remember using one of your lecture rooms as a base. The room was filled with a, a bunch of hairy, smelly, kilt-wearing Scottish men covered in mud and blood, all fighting for a comfy chair. I guess it's quite similar to some of the lectures you've attended. I wrote this last night, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, I know it must have been a first for the nurse on duty in A&E last year when a Native American Cherokee warrior in full battle dress limped into the reception with an arrow stuck in his thigh. I doubt the nurse's colleagues would have believed them, but this actually happened. We have around 150 First Nation Cree actors, mostly from Canada, that are populating Scotland's first Mohawk longhouse village, not far from Stirling Services, just off the A9. <laughs> Stirling is now actually doubling for the New World. America in the 1700s, populated by immigrants and natives alike. And it's fascinating to learn that America was built on immigration and tolerance. These are values to emulate. And here in Stirling, we are re recreating that as the woods just outside Dune look uncannily like those found in North Carolina in the 1700s. Now, as mentioned before, I ran the first of two Scottish marathons last year and haven't really run since. The Stirling Marathon was a wonderful journey past locations we've shot at through the city and surrounding area. We went past Dune Castle, the, the setting for Castle Lioch in Outlander. Also, the French castle in Monty Python's Holy Grail, and you can't visit that castle without a set of coconut shells. And if you didn't know, you know nothing. <laughs> it was also the location for the first pilot episode of a, a show called Game of Thrones, but I've never heard of it. <laughs> we ran through Dunblane, Bridge of Allen, past the Wallace Monument, and actually went up the monument for my first time last year. Took a famous bodybuilder and fitness athlete up the top. 
Watching him try to, to fit up those tiny stairs was priceless. And I've never seen someone who claims to be so fit sweat and complain so much. I was running the marathon for my charity fundraiser, My Peak Challenge. As mentioned, we've raised actually over $4 million now for charity. We've helped fund research projects for Bloodwise and support vital hospice care for Marie Curie. In May, we held our first MPC gala in Edinburgh. <coughs> Sorry, Sterling. And had the first new First Minister welcome our several thousand guests to the evening celebration. Now, part of the fundraising in collaboration with Omaze was a raffle to, to win a date with me. And we raised actually over $2.8 million for that, the highest ever, more than some other guy called Clooney. You'd be pleased to know I actually paid for dinner this time. But back to the marathon. Near the end, it takes a nasty little detour through the university campus. And it might be the first time I've ever cursed this university for being quite so big. The race, for me, had many great memories, almost like running through a dream. I realized how fortunate I was to have had so many wonderful experiences over the years and seen so much of this area. I'm sure as you all come to the end of your adventure here in Stirling University, you'll look back at the memorable times you've had. Now, I would like to thank the university on behalf of all the graduates here for giving them this unique experience and priceless opportunity. And on behalf of the university, I would like you all to keep in touch with the university and know what first new experiences you accomplish. Now, armed with the experience of the past three or so years, you've developed new tastes thoughts and made new discoveries. And I wish you all the best of luck on your chosen path. I'm sure it's been said today as many times as we take to shoot Outlander, but I'm gonna quote the university motto, be steadfast as the rock. And remember, once out of the campus, take an energy gel, plenty water, there's a long way to go with many wonderful new first experiences to come. Thank you and enjoy your day.